Arcades, an extravaganza of gaming that has always been a curiosity for me. I mean, the whole spectacle is like going to the theaters to see a movie, only it's for video games. They're typically flashy, kinda loud, and chock full of cab after cab of bite-sized experiences with big ambitions played one token at a time. That is, of course, unless you're some sort of wizard that doesn't respect the timeless tradition of wasting a whole roll of quarters on one game. <laughs> Silly 1cc wizards. Unfortunately, due to the accessibility and power of modern consoles and or PCs, Arcades and even traditional arcade-style games are becoming less prevalent these days. But the talented group of individuals at NG Dev Team want to keep the arcade experience alive with their true-to-form and quintessentially Neo Geo-inspired creations, and that includes their latest entry, Gunlord X, which is available right now on the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Invoking similarities to the Turrican series, Gunlord X is a side-scrolling action platformer with a focus on running and gunning and an overwhelming amount of explosions. In Gunlord X, you take control of Gordon Gaiden as he dons his Gunlord suit and shoots his way through an onslaught of enemies in search of the evil planet lord, the Master. But taking down this genocidal tyrant is only second to finding his wife Vanessa, who just so happened to go missing after the conclusion of NG Dev Team's previous shoot 'em up entry, Last Hope. Now before I get to anything else, I just want to say that Gunlord X absolutely exudes that arcade overindulgence. It has those punchy, bassy sound effects that shake you to the core after each explosion, lavishly detailed and impressively gigantic sprites, sprawling backgrounds, and satisfying action that makes you want to come back for more despite having spent your last credit. The devs even threw in a horizontally scrolling shoot 'em up stage, just so they could tick all of the boxes. Honestly, I never felt so compelled to drop the 500 euro in order to build my own arcade cab. You'll be happy to know though, that my better judgment kicked in and I restrained myself, for now. I think what I like most about Gunlord X, aside from its presentation, is how perfectly simple it is. There's no frills to weigh you down gameplay-wise, and apart from your ability to find various power-ups that'll change your shot patterns, which can include things like a spread shot or barrage of pouncing green orbs, your only concern is pointing and shooting. Well, that and the occasional boss battle that'll really test your skills at dodging incoming bullets. It's just pure, unadulterated fun. I even enjoy the focus on exploration in the game. However, that's where Gunlord X kind of falls apart as well. Not so much with the whole having to explore thing, but with the fact that some of the stages more than overstay their welcome. In my mind, a good arcade game should be something that can easily be played in quick spurts. Gunlord X, on the other hand, requires a bit of a time commitment, with it pushing the 30 minute mark on some levels. I mean, it's a minor gripe, and that time is variable between stages, but it definitely discourages you from revisiting a level to clean up any collectibles you missed. Now that being said, I very much enjoyed my time with Gunlord X, and if you're a fan of classic running gunners, the sensory overload culture of arcades, and getting that experience from the comfort of your home, then I highly recommend you give it a try. Who knows, maybe you'll even be inspired to check out the rest of NG Dev Team's lineup. 